All right, I'm here with Rachel. Rachel, can you give me a little bit about yourself and what we're doing here today? Yeah, so my name is Rachel Taverdi. I'm the Director for Family Life and Discipleship for the Diocese of Lincoln. And today we are hosting a diocesan training for Witness to Love, which is uh, a marriage mentoring approach that's being done um, in 80 dioceses across the world. And we're happy to host the founders today. Wonderful. So Witness to Love, um, tell me a little bit more about the program Witness to Love and the importance of marriage prep, especially in the Catholic Church. Yeah, so Witness to Love has been around since 2011, and it actually is a response to a much needed gap within marriage prep. So uh, Mary Rose and Ryan Verrett, uh, they're from Louisiana, and they're coming up here to just kind of host a training for our parishes to offer this this catechumenal approach to marriage prep, which is all about relationship and accompaniment. So uh, the Vatican's actually been asking for this since, uh, well, <laughs> if you wanna go way back, it's been since John Paul II's pontificate. But um, in the last couple years especially, there has been more of a call to revitalize marriage preparation, to make it more of a relational mentoring process and not just cover intellectual formation, but also have more um, of a, just like a, a community component. So you're inviting these uh, engaged couples and newlyweds into a community and into the life of the church and introducing them to Jesus. Wonderful. So in Witness to Love, there is a, a mentoring aspect of it. Um, I'm curious if you can tell me a little bit more about what these mentors do um, and how it's influenced uh, newlyweds, especially in their own parish and the Catholic Church. Yeah, so I think people get really intimidated when we say mentor couple. Um, witness to love is really, uh, it's about living a witness of marriage. So we uh, encourage married couples to not be intimidated by the word mentorship, but to really just be a, a real, um, just honest witness to the sacrament. Uh, we're not looking for perfect people. We're looking for just real life people who are willing to be generous in their marriage. Uh, the biggest thing I love about Witness to Love is it's all about friendship. So it's really focused on uh, actually connecting an engaged couple with a mentor couple that they admire or somebody that they kind of look up to in the parish. Uh, it could also be somebody in their circle too, maybe like a coach they knew growing up or a teacher or somebody they, that babysat for them. So it's, it's really just connecting them with a solid married couple who they can model their marriage after. Awesome. And the couple that's going to be presenting today, uh, they've traveled all around the country. They've been invited to the Vatican. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about what they do and uh, how they started Witness to Love? Yeah, so Mary Rose and Ryan have a very interesting backstory. So Mary Rose, uh, she actually used to work for the Diocese of Arlington and the Diocese of Lafayette. So she worked in diocesan life for six years. And um, she, the, her, their whole story, they kind of go into it here at the training. But basically, uh, she was working at a parish in Louisiana. And her pastor had asked her to do uh, a study, basically, on all the couples going through marriage preparation and kind of assess, you know, after the five-year mark of marriage, how many of these couples are still together? How many of them are divorced? And so they did these studies and depressingly it came back that the statistics that they were getting is that even with the best of marriage preparation and all the things they were doing at the diocesan level, they still were seeing the exact same statistics for divorce um, in comparison to the secular culture that doesn't do any marriage prep. So they were like, oh, this is kind of depressing, you know, like we need to do what's missing. What are we not doing right here? So um, they actually, you know, prayed about it and it came up in prayer that they should do this model of marriage preparation that they allow the engaged couple to choose their mentor couple and to not assign it. Um, this was uh, pretty much motivated by some of the studies they've done with attachment theory and psychology, just looking at human relationship and how relationships only uh, endure or thrive when there's kind of a baseline of trust there and a baseline of attraction. So they were allowing them, the engaged couples to kind of choose a mentor couple because the hope is, is that they won't just meet before the wedding day, but that they'll continue to walk together after the wedding day. 
the importance of marriage prep, especially in the Catholic Church, I feel like I've seen um, grow over the past few years, and maybe especially with, with this program. Um, what can a, a couple expect before they get married while they're going into marriage prep? Is it a scary thing? Is it an exciting thing? Um, what does the marriage prep process look like? Well, I think it's different. Every diocese has a different process, and I think a lot of couples going into it are excited. They're, it's a good thing. They're, they're excited to get married. But, you know, sometimes when, uh, and I've experienced this too, I worked for the Archdiocese of Omaha, and I, I did marriage prep there. Some of our couples, um, once they start the process of getting married in the church, they get hit with all the canonical paperwork and all the to-dos, and you know, it, it, it's honestly, a lot of times it's the last thing on their list. They're like, I got to go talk to the DJ. I got to go book the venue. I got to pick up my dress. So going, getting your formation done for a vocation is the last thing on their mind. So um, we have to win them over. And, I, you know, with, in our marriage preparation, what we're doing right now is we're revamping it so that at the very first meeting, these couples are welcomed and they are introduced to Jesus. So we are um, we're asking for more of a charismatic approach where um, we're proclaiming the gospel to them and, and inviting them into the life of the church, not just, hey, use our venue, but this is, oh, well, this is a community you're being welcomed into. Great. Um, I know for a lot of young Catholics, marriage, uh, especially with our culture today, has, has kind of have had a uh, can be discouraging to a lot of young Catholics based on the culture and what they see today. Um, what is a, a message of hope for young Catholics who want to get married, who want to have a, a good relationship with their future spouse, but maybe they're concerned or discouraged? Can you, can you offer any advice for, for young Catholics who want to get married but are discouraged at our culture today? Yeah, I mean, our culture, obviously, we all know the statistics about divorce and the 50-50 kind of percentage for marriages today. I think there's so much hope in the sense, real, like, there's power in the grace of the sacrament. Um, you know, Jesus instituted the sacrament of marriage, and he elevated natural marriage to a supernatural level. And so we have a lot of grace to rely on here, and he is going to empower these, for the couples that take advantage of the grace of the sacrament, they will be given the strength to live out their marriage with joy. And... I also think, you know, with this particular approach with Witness to Love, they are all about support. So you're not living your marriage alone, and you're not meant to. You're going to get connected with other couples and um, couples who've, who've had um, some years of experience being married, and they're able to, like, walk with you and give you that support you're going to need. So you're not, you're not alone, and that's, that's really encouraging. That is very encouraging. Rachel Taverdi, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you.